Y'all already know it's that time of the year. Let's talk about Uniqlo U Fall Winter 2023. Okay, so let me give you some initial thoughts. Overall, I really like this collection, but I'm very disappointed in their accessories. So let's talk about our first piece, which is this padded volume jacket right here. All right, Uniqlo, trying something new. I appreciate that. And by the way, this video is not sponsored by Uniqlo. I bought all of these with my own money. And because I know you guys appreciate these Uniqlo videos, I wanna give back to y'all for the support. So stick through to the end to see how you can win a care package from me. Now, Uniqlo is no stranger to padded pieces. They have other items from the Ultralight Down collection, but this piece, it's different. So their other padded jackets have a ton of padding and tight rows. This jacket has three sections of padding. So they are much wider and it adds a blocky shape to your fit. And I really like that for casual wear. You know, it kind of adds a luxurious feel to the garment. If there's more rows, it just kind of looks like a Patagonia piece. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, you're definitely staying warm with this. Voluminous boxy cut is what is described on the website. It's pretty accurate. So fellas, make sure you're focusing on extending your height with this. So wear boots. If you feel like you can't wear a super wide boxy cut piece, I I promise you boots is going to change that so i got the brown colorway which feels more like clay pushing myself out of the comfort zone with this one for sure the buttons got a nice and satisfying click and whenever i fasten it all the way to the top i look like what my mom wants me to look like whenever i leave the house without a jacket asian parents you will be warm if you do that but you definitely look like you produce tires this is a dope piece a little bit up there in price but this is probably the only winter jacket you'll ever need so next up we got this twill oversized long sleeve shirt of course based off the name it's got an over size fits and it's made out of a soft brush twill. Now for those of you guys about to ask, I'm five foot seven, 165 pounds with a slim muscular build. This piece is a size small. It does have a curved hem, which is very attractive. The pattern is simple. It looks nice. And the buttons, that's what sells it for me with this piece. Buttons are very underrated. It's one of those subconscious things you don't think about. Whenever you're browsing for your next piece, always pay attention to the buttons. It honestly can make or break a garment. All right. So now we got the premium lamb's wool crew neck sweater am i the only one that thinks of wolves whenever you hear lamb's wool maybe it's just me anyways the only way to describe this is premium it's 100 premium wool so it's very light but also very warm the thick collar is very attractive to look at which you can see the same design language at the hem area and the cuffs definitely adds a nice luxurious feel to this piece i got a size medium and the beige colorway honestly i think i should have went with brown but beige is still nice and because of its elevated nature you can definitely rock this on a date you throw this on with some accessories you're gonna kill it on the date so whenever you're picking out your colorways i would honestly avoid black that we can showcase the thick collar you don't want to hide that it's what makes this piece stand out but you do whatever you want now up next are the parachute i couldn't grab that the parachute wide fit cargo pants all right so i definitely would say i'm well versed with cargo pants you can call me a cargo pants connoisseur and they dropped some parachute pants during the spring and i thought those were kind of okay they definitely improved it with this season i do wish they changed them a little bit more because i just think the fabric that they use could be a lot thicker because of fall and winter that's it these are just a tad bit too breathable for me the shape is great though they also use a ykk zipper system which is also very premium I love the shape of the cargo pants. I love that you can adjust the cuff of the pants. The pleated details are much appreciated. It adds some nice details and depth to the midsection area, which often goes underlooked. But fair warning though, these pants are quite long. I have to hike it up pretty high just so it looks somewhat decent on me. And that ends up hiding the pleated details of these pants. Even if you're a taller dude, I still feel like these are too long, which just makes no sense to me because Uniqlo is a Japanese brand. They have a primarily Japanese audience and American audience as well. And the height disparity is just completely different. So it's just weird. It's just weird. Now, overall, I would style these with cinched boots. I think that's the best way to style them. Of course, because the cuff is adjustable, you can wear them with various sneakers. I just like rocking boots. And now we got the brushed jersey mock neck. All right, so this is how you do a modern mock neck. You've got the drop shoulder, which does add a nice casualness to the shirt. You know, standard turtlenecks and mock necks tend to be very slim fitting, making you look like some frozen looking dude. This is much more chill. And mock necks don't go too high, so it's an in-between from casual to a little bit formal. Plus with the drop shoulders you can go either way i love the split hem the thick cuffs and it just feels so cozy now just remember with garments like this don't be tugging on it like this launch it oh my god almost hit myself don't be doing that you're gonna screw up the collar and your hanger is gonna be a health hazard i know y'all be doing that so yeah i really like this piece i would highly recommend it and next up 
we've got the staples. We have the hoodies over here. And this time, I decided to pick up all three colorways. Really, I just wanted a navy one because I already have a charcoal and a brown one. So when it comes to the giveaway, I'm going to be giving away one of these hoodies. Just stay tuned to the end of the video. So they actually did a great job with these hoodies. I got these in a size medium. It's definitely meant for an oversized fit. And I just love the fabric that they use. It's the same fabric on the outside as inside. And I don't know how to describe it other than it kind of feels like an athleisure piece with a streetwear cut. So it's not one of those heavy cotton garments because a heavy hoodie doesn't always mean it's the most premium it's got a ton of stretch to it i appreciate the metal tip drawstrings and i also love that the kangaroo pocket doesn't connect there's no kangaroo pocket it's individual pockets i've had so many times i put my stuff in the kangaroo pocket it slips out the other side and it's a huge pain in the ass some people prefer the kangaroo pocket i don't the only things i don't like are the crinkly cuffs and hem area this is called blousing blousing or something like that i'm just not a fan i personally find it looks a little bit cheap now, if you remember back to the lamb's wool sweater, that thick collar is what I'm talking about. I wish that was on here, but there is a benefit to the hem area. You know how you roll your hoodie to hem it? Well, with this one, it's actually going to stay that way because it kind of cinches after you roll it and it doesn't unravel itself. So I really like that about this. Maybe my beef is with the cuff area. I just think it could look nicer with thicker cuffs. When it comes to styling these, you know, I always keep it simple with the color top, black pants, white sneakers. That's really all you got to do. And when it comes to the brown hoodie, I actually think it will look great with our longevity caps. Those of you guys that don't know, I'm restocking my longevity cap in olive and brown and the brown one i think would look great with this one and so i'll leave a link in the description where you can sign up for the email list and you get early access before everyone else brown on brown it's a chef's kiss now as far as their accessories go Man, I'm not a big fan of their beanie that they released this year, which is why I didn't pick it up. In my opinion, I think the majority of people are not going to look good in it. Even their models don't look good on it. Bless their soul, they're way better looking than me, and I don't even think they look good in it. It's just got a weird shape to it. But let's talk about their bags. This one is their mini messenger bag. This is decent. You basically get what you pay for. The adjustability is easy to do. You got a magnetic buckle, and it's definitely constructed a lot better than the drawstring bag. It's just a little bit small, that's all. Because let's talk about their drawstring bags. I've had this for about two years. When I'm walking around in my hand, I'm looking for security. I'm not trying to get pickpocketed out here. And so that's why I always prefer zipper bags. Of course, I guess if you tie it really tight, you know, someone's not going to be able to untie it very easily without you noticing. But there just has to be that balance of quick access and security. And this one doesn't really have that unless you double knot it and tie it really tight. But then that just becomes inconvenient. Don't get me wrong. I still like the way this bag looks. I'm just going to treat it more as a tote bag rather than an everyday bag, which is just going to get much more use. You guys ask me about this Uniqlo bag all the time. It's from 2019. It's the Block Tech shoulder bag. It's water repellent, has zipper pockets. It can carry a lot and it has a third axis stability strap. And by far, I wear that bag more than any other bag that I own. So yeah, Uniqlo, if you're listening, just please restock the Block Tech shoulder bag. And now we got the reversible jacket, which is actually quite exciting. Two jackets for the price of one. You really can't beat that. So yeah, you got your main jacket, which is very simple looking. I personally feel like they've got many jackets that kind of look like this from the past, but it's actually quite different. It looks like a very rigid jacket, but it's actually more like a soft shell jacket, which really surprised me. So it's much easier to carry and easier to pack, and it's also water repellent. And as you can see on the inside, which is the other jacket, it's made out of fleece. So if you actually get too hot with the fleece line inside, you could just flip it and reverse it so that the fleece is on the outside, and it's going to be much more breathable and much cooler. And I do like the way it looks on both jackets. It gives you a lot of variety and versatility while still being minimal. And you can adjust the hem area. There's a little cinch that you can pull. That way a lot of cold air doesn't come up. I don't typically mess with that though and the black colorway is definitely the way to go in my opinion just because of how versatile it is two jackets for the price of one you'll definitely be wearing this a whole lot and finally we got this chunky stole it's just a thick ass scarf just consider a thick ass scarf this is in the olive colorway although it feels more cream in my opinion it's wider it's thicker it adds drape and flow to your fit if you guys see my layering video those are my thoughts on this collection another mixed bag mostly good now when it comes to the giveaway details to participate to win one of these uniqlo hoodies and a lot of other Uniqlo U items that you can't buy anymore, like this Parker over here and much more, all you have to do is pick up one of our longevity caps. Our restock is on Friday, October 13th. You can pick up the brown colorway, the olive colorway, or both. It doesn't matter. So pick one of these up and also comment down below your Instagram handle and your favorite piece from this collection. That way we can find your account and find your order from a choice made. And I'm going to be sending over $300 worth of garments from Uniqlo, just pieces that I've only worn a few times. For this specific giveaway, it is limited to the US. Maybe in the future, I'd love to do international stuff it's just 
just a little bit complicated with having you guys pay import taxes and all that. Comment down below your Instagram handle, your favorite piece from this Uniqlo U collection, and pick up one of our longevity caps. And so yeah, good luck to all of y'all. Winner is going to be announced next week, and you will be messaged by me personally. Make sure it's me, verified, 100K on Instagram. Don't fall for any of these bots, okay? I know you guys are smarter than that. So yeah, I appreciate you guys for the support of the channel. Those links down below will be affiliate links. If you guys want to support the channel, I do get a small kickback if you make a purchase. And until then, stay fly. Deuces.